Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can use your bias tape to finish your neckline. So do you see how rough the neckline is? So this is how rough the neckline is. This is the front neckline and this is the back neckline. So I'm going to show you in a quickie how you can use your bias of any color. You can get a matching color or you can get a similar color or the same color of the fabric. So I'm going to remember that when you finish using your bias, you use your pin to pin it so that your, your bias will not run off. So first and foremost, I'm going to open the edge of my bias, the two edges of my bias like this. This is uh, there is different types of bias. This is a uh, half inch bias. This is half inch bias. So, and uh, let me show you guys. So this is the different. So this is the different types of bias tape. So if you have time to make your bias tape, you can as well purchase this and start making your own bias tape. So it's quite so simple to use and so super friendly. So without wasting time, let me show you guys how to use this <laughs> so as to achieve a neat finish. So you have to leave like half inch here. Then you use your your machine pin to hold everything down. Always open the bias so as to place your fabric backstitch. Always backstitch. So I don't know how others do their finishing using bias tape, but this is how I do mine. So as to uh, for me to achieve a neat finishing, if I don't want to use my soldier, or if I want to try something different, so I use my bias tape to achieve this. You can as well use your bias tape as as a soldier for your finished look. So I will try as much as possible to show you guys in this video also how you can use your bias to achieve the end look of your of your dresses or your clothes. It's quite so super cool and simple. So did you see how I'm using tactics to open the back of this bias? So that's it guys so always backstitch to secure your stitches and always remember to trade out the rough phases of your of your fabric so if you think that you have excess bias you can as well it's advisable for you to cut out so that what you will take in will not be bulky than waiting for or waiting to to buy your surgery. So another trick that I normally use is if I don't want like if I don't want you can also tuck this like use your needle and trade and tuck this so that the the stitches will be invis invisible is quite expected of you to use your your needle and tray to tack it so but if you are kind of so 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 busy that you don't think that you have time for that so it's advisable for you to use a machine so this is what i'm doing i'm placing this in like this where my the main fabric is and i'm using this to cover it up so after i'm going to turn it again so that i will have something like this 
and I'm using my needle pin, my machine needle set to secure the the edges. Then I'm going to firstly stitch and top stitch, stitch and the back stitch. Then start stitching all the way. Did you see how I'm stitching it? I'm not stitching at the middle, I'm stitching at the end sides of so this is quite super simple and super cool. So yeah. So guys, that's why I asked you to leave like half inch or one inch at the two edges so you can easily cut everything all out. So this is how my neck, how the neck of the cloth looks like. It looks so perfect, so super cool and so neat. So this is how the back looks like and this is how the front of the, of my, of the dress looks like and this is the back it's so cool so neat and so professional so that's how you use your bias to achieve your perfect neck your neckline and also so super cool it will make you also to achieve the curve of your neckline it's our perfect neckline so these are my perfect neckline using a bias tape. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Give me a thumbs up. Then drop your comments in the comment box if you have any question concerning using your bias tape to achieve your perfect neckline finish. So see you guys in my next video. Bye. Sun, searching for a longer day. This one is named six. This one People is twelve. Feel then this one is eighteen, and this one is the twenty-five. This is the largest part of the bias. So this is how they put the illustration of how to use your bias. This is how you cut your bias using your either your your rotary cutter or your scissors then this is how you insert your bias on the bias tape your stripe on the bias tape and this is how when you pull it out you use your iron to press it so as to achieve this type of neat finish on your bias straps so this is how in the end result you will show so it's kind of so simple when you insert your fabric here. Okay, this is a uh, 18 millimeter. So when you insert your bias, your fabric here, then you start pulling it out. Then make sure that your iron is hot before pulling it out. So once you pull out your iron, once you pull out your iron, so you achieve a neat bias tape. So guys, you can order this on AliExpress. I will drop the link in my description box. So I, I, I so much love this because it's kind of so easy for me to use. And uh, this is tape maker's 